All right, it's time for a Clone Wars review of Ahsoka Tano, the 1-7 scale minibus from General Giant. Yes, this is out new. It sold out on General Giant, and it might have something to do with the price point at being only $59.99. So you're going to have to turn to a secondary market, and hopefully maybe your comic book store has one. Definitely want to check out this incredible 1-7 scale bust of Ahsoka Tano in her garb from the end of the Clone Wars. When Disney went back ended out the story so they could bring out the Bad Batch and do all that other fun stuff. A great tribute to the character. Put Mole in the right place to where we find him later in Star Wars Rebels. It also added to her story and kind of finished what happened to Captain Rex, even though we did see him later in Star Wars Rebels. So, real quick comment. This is one of the newer um, releases with the open window box. So if you're an in-the-box collector, this enables you to see them more than just a uh, picture of it on the box. Uh, this is not for every collector's. This is uh, Hasbro is getting away from this completely with their action figures. Um, so it's a little bit different and kind of interesting that this studio is, uh, this company is going that route with some of these releases. Let's open her up, see how she looks. This is a really complicated box that I do not want to tear. I don't like tearing my boxes. So I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. I got her out of the box very delicately. Um, we do have an Ahsoka Tano uh, 1 7 scale uh, letter of authenticity. We have, interesting, we have no number on the bottom of this card. Very different. Now, we do get sent artist, artist proofs from um, Gentle Giant, so this is a good chance that this is an artist proof. And let's take a look at the book. And. So we have reviewed the Dr. Afra and the Darth Maul from the same line, which is kind of a companion uh, piece to this. And the Grand Admiral Thrawn is out of this world. And we did review both of these two as well. So you can check out all of that on our YouTube page at your convenience. Now, um, let's pull her out of here. So I did, they do have her secured in the back here. I just took the liberty of cutting that out of the review. We're going to pull her out gently. She is in there good. And thankfully, they do have uh, little plastic pieces around the arms. So they have these little plastic pieces here so that the paint doesn't get smeared. She's got several fragile touch points that I'm a little worried about. So I'm just being a little bit more delicate than I normally would be when I take one of these out of the package, as you can see here. You just wanna always be careful. You never know, did she move in ship in shipping? Is there an issue? Um, factory defects. Ooh, okay. There she is. And now we're gonna just get these lightsabers out of here. This one might be a little bit, ooh, they have pointy tips. Nice. Yes. So we do have the short saber and the long saber, just like on the cartoon. And, all right, we're going to pull them out. Get rid of the styrofoam. I always keep my styrofoam. always keep my boxes because I definitely will probably put her back into storage. There we go. Artist proof again. So... With a lot of these that I've done here, now let's, I want to talk about the fragile points, okay? So we do have these pieces here, very fragile. Got to be very gentle with that. It's not something you want to get near your child or a lot, a lot smaller child to play with. It's definitely an adult collector piece. Um, got some styrofoam here just floating around. You know, paint smudges. We also have this back piece. Look how much, look how much space they gave this. Oh, wow. You know, Ashley Eckstein probably has like a giant one of these. Uh, who voiced um, Ahsoka. I actually interviewed her. She was a fantastic interview. Had a very, very good uh, heart and spirit um, and was and was game for a laugh. We had, some, we had some pretty funny stories. And at the time, when I interviewed her, um, Clone Wars was pretty big. Um, it was really the only Star Wars thing that was out there. And I asked her what it was like to be the new first lady of Star Wars. And she kind of laughed, but she, she said, she was gracious and said, no, that's, you know, I'm just, I'm just playing a part and it's not that big of a deal. And it was, it was really, it was really, she was really nice. 
Um, so let's get these blades on here. So based on the, so this is interesting. So based on this picture here, we're going to say that's the long one. That's the short one. So if she's facing me in the same direction, we'll make this one here. And then we'll put this one here. So much like the Darth Maul one, you want to check out that review, by the way, I say that again, you need a little space for these because look at this, like I've got this all in the frame and I'm still, she may be small, but these sabers take up a lot of space. So let's get out this and she's almost six inches tall, but the saber itself is seven and a half inches. So you're going to need some space. So to give you uh, some scale, I'll bring out my trusty stormtrooper here. Three, seven, five. So that gives you an idea. Um, as far as a likeness, oops, pardon me. As far as a likeness for the series, like we, we aren't doing a person or a movie character. We are doing a character that was straight up from the cartoon. I mean, it's point on. I mean, she's fantastic. It's really, really well done. So this is a smaller price point. This is only uh, $60, but as I said, they are sold out on the Gentle Giant site and was a limited edition of 3000 So um, good luck trying to find one. I'm really happy to add this to the collection. Um, she is perfect. Oh, look at this. Look at these little details here. Love the gauntlets. Really love what they did with that character and really gave her a good send-off. This is Bob from Toy Story Recon. Thank you, Gentle Giant. She's fantastic.